Got it. Thank you, sir. Well, let me tell you something. What goes on behind the scenes here at the Actors Cut. <laughs> it was a quick change. It was a just run it. And it was, and this is how we do. And guess what? I got my man, John Makey. Yo, what's good? JM Productions in the building today. Yeah. We're going to talk about what he's got going on, man. This guy is a wonderful photographer, videographer. Like, whatever you need done, media-wise, he can do it. Yo, my man. Yeah, Thank man. you for coming down. Yo, yo we was kind of lit in Boston. We was oh, in Boston, was, right? <laughs> it was lit in Boston. If I got to tell you, it was lit. We had a we had a blast, yo. We, was, we had a good time. Um, we were sharing, um, we had the premiere um, documentary I did for um, my good friend, um, Kerry D. Simmons. And, um, you know, Jane Productions, yeah, I put it together alongside with um, our, our Productions. And we put together this nice documentary, you know, about his life and from coming up from Boston all the way uh, how he ended up in New York and how he got into the entertainment, his ups and downs and everything. And everybody loved it, yeah. you know. It was, it was really good. good, you know. It was uh, good. Soon you, maybe you're going to get to see <laughs> it, you know. <laughs> and, um, yeah, we, you know, we got some... Um, I was just in um, Texas for South by Southwest. That's, you know, that's a big um, music, you know. If you're into, into music or entertainment, that's where all the artists is. We, you know, made up with a lot of people. Little Baby, made up with um, D Chambers, a lot, of, a lot of people down there. We represented Brooklyn to the fullest, mm -hmm. basically New York to the fullest, right, you know? Right, right. And um, it was lit. No, they're um, caught on an Instagram live, just walking around people's neighborhood. <laughs> yeah, man, it was real nice, it was real good. You know, the boat, we, the five-star hotel, the jacuzzis. <laughs> Oh, I just dropped the um the vlog, the Texas Brooklyn. If you want to watch what happened, you can check it out on um, Brooklyn Invades Texas, uh -oh. South by Southwest, two, uh -oh. 2018. Uh -oh. And that you will see how lit it was. But other than that, you know, I'm taking um my T-shirt, the designing stuff to the to the next level because um on Saturday, this coming Saturday is also um Daisy Modeling um fashion show. So I'm gonna also have some of my um, clothing designs. Like even here, you can see some of these. Like this is personal designs. The right? hotness right there. You know, for the artists, for whatever you into, entertainment, media, whatever you into, and you got an idea, you want a logo design or whatever. I'ma design the logo, put it on the shirt for you, and we just gonna make it look hot. You know. That's what yeah. he do. That's <laughs> what he how do. It does, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, my man, you bro, you about to you about to get things lit hey. because I want him when he come in, you gotta show some of that love. You oh, know, of some course gym I am. some gym production shirts the oh. next time I'm coming for you. Already of know. course I am. Yeah, when we come, I think we you gotta come here next time though. As soon we I think uh, Yeah, I and bring know. me some gear to wear. I know, that's what I'm saying. The next time I'm coming, I'm gonna just bring you some stuff. You need, you rock it out, you know? You good. Well you maybe, maybe I have to shoot wear it in that, that video you about to shoot for me. Oh, oh, for that oh. Uh, single. Do more most. say less. Oh. You know? <laughs> oh man. It's going down. 2018, <laughs> yo. <laughs> <We're lit. laughs> yo, give me your background. Tell them where you're from. Um, I'm from Dominica. Um, it's between um um, Guadalupe or Martinique, it's in the islands. It's a small country, very mountainous. They call it the nature island of the Caribbean. So I have a lot of, um, I grew up around nature, you know, trees all around, the birds, that peaceful atmosphere, mm -hmm. you know? And um, and then you then you came here. To I New came York. here, you know. I came here to New York, you know. No and trees. No trees. That's the same thing I was saying. Yo, where the trees at? The only place, you know, where, when I came up here, no lie, among one of my favorite places to go was the Botanical Garden, Brooklyn Botanical Garden, because when I went there, it, like it just took took out everything that all the surroundings, all the all the noise, all the the fire trucks, all the police, and all this noise, and I just went to the park and just you know clear my head, listen to some birds sing, and yeah, get some focus and for you know on inspiration on something else, you know, and that's what I I've been I, I've been doing it for a while now, you know, just to get inspiration, just to clear my head. I would just go either to the botanical garden or Prospect Park, you know, they close by and. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. man, it's important That's to have some peace and tranquility. You got to, you got to, man. especially when you're in Brooklyn. Oh, oh my <laughs> and it's New York, you know. I've been in East <laughs> right. New York, so I deal with a lot of um, artists. You know, I used to work in um, when I, I used to work in um, uh, underground studio, and it was actually lit, you know. And I was um, doing the design. I was running the design department, 
and I got to meet so much artists from Brooklyn and basically the whole five boroughs, you know, and the whole t-shirt thing just went, just blasted off. As mm -hmm. soon as I started, everybody was like, all oh, right, that's the king vinyl right there. Mm -hmm. He, you know, that's the king when it comes to vinyl. You know, and lately I see a lot of people trying to come up, come doing it. And I like doing, I like seeing that because, you know, that's how I started. You feel me? I just started just... I see somebody did it, and I was like, yo, I want to I wanna learn how to do it. And I was like, so people that are doing it, can, it need people to do these because a lot of people you just send their stuff to the internet, and they just they get back what they get, you know? Right, right. But if you go to a designer, the designer going to put his, his passion into it. That's his talent, you know, right. whatever, you know? And right. it is like what I say, when it, when it comes to my product, I have this um, line called Jam 10K. And 10K means one of a kind. You know, so it's Jam Productions. If you get something from Jam Productions smooth, it's a, and got that 10K on it, smooth. you know, you the only person in the world that uh, got that design. That That's all I was telling you. When I'm coming, yeah, I'm going to bring you authentic. some authentic yeah. stuff. Yeah, so, you I know, need that. You know? I need that. So, yeah, and um, met up with a lot of um, artists, you know, expanded the brand. Um, after that, I left the studio after a while, and then I started dealing with the radio people. Mm -hmm. So... Um, Kerry D. Sillington, he actually took me on the road, so we was doing a lot of traveling, you know, Boston, Philly, you know, back and forth, and I got to go to mad different radio stations, all the connections, you know, wherever we went, we went to different radio stations, studios, everywhere, and it's just been a blast from since then, and, you know, and um, a lot of projects is coming up. I can't say too much, but a lot of projects is coming mm -hmm, up, and, mm -hmm. you know, I'm just staying focused and Trying to stay humble, you know, what, ten toes down. <laughs> what, what project can you tell us about? Um, Don't do the real big one. <laughs> you don't got to give it all. <laughs> and you even got to say no names. All right, so there is this one project. So there's, there's this one project I'm doing with, and it's actually a reality show. So we're doing this reality show. Um, it's actually with um, this um, label that I, I, I'm a part of. So I'm a, also a part of a label called FGM label. It means um, family gain money, you know. And we came up with this idea to do um, a series, you know, uh, uh, you know, a video series and mm -hmm. stuff. It already started already. Mm -hmm. We just did the first, the first um, intro, you know, the pilot and everything. So everything is, everything is going where it's supposed to mm -hmm. be. The name mm -hmm. of it is um, Tiny and T <laughs> Tina and Tiny. You know, it's about two girls, uh. you know, and they. They start doing, they, 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 they fell off short and after they start doing, you know, right, they, right. they start doing some hits and stuff. Okay, you know? okay. And it's like, it's crazy. I okay. don't want to get too much yeah, into yeah, it, but it's a reality. Don't get too much away. You just got to you know, look up for it. But I got the documentary coming out. That That is Jerem Productions. We got the documentary coming out and um, so much more, you know. And the t-shirts, like you say, on Saturday, they got the fashion show all for the summer. I'm trying to get into as much fashion shows as possible. So anybody that wants to link me for fashion shows or whatever, you want some GM Productions 10K, you know, you can hit me up on Instagram. You gonna, you're going to be on a new, um, you're going to be, you, you should be in the uh, the NYC Ball Showcase coming up what in September. That? Okay, okay. I think I'm supposed to be entering the, um, the City Awards. Remember the City Awards from yeah, last yeah, year? Yeah, you yeah, was yeah, there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. You was I was supposed. hosting. Oh, you was hosting. <laughs> <laughs> I got, I got him on the vlog. <laughs> yeah. So you never know. You never see the awards. You know, this time, you know, I'm going to enter my stuff in there. Yeah. Hopefully, you know, yeah. come out there with one, two awards, you know? Right, yeah, right. Yeah. That's yeah. what so it's all maybe about. So maybe you, I'm giving me awards soon. For, you never know, you know? I like giving awards. <laughs> and one thing that I like most about awards is receiving them. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> but I give them too. I love giving them because people deserve their recognition. You know what I'm saying? If you're doing something, if y'all, like my man right here, if you're out on your grind, you deserve everything that you get. You know, mm -hmm. there's nothing that you get that you don't deserve if you're out there working for mm -hmm. it. You got to stay true to what you're doing. You got to stay true to, true to what you believe in mm -hmm. because those are two different things. True to what you're doing and true to what you believe in, in you, you know? know? That's what you, you gotta bring it out. What you believe in, right. that's everybody gonna judge you by that, right. you know? Your so values and your beliefs. If your values ain't right, people gonna be like, nah. But if your values is right, no matter what ups and downs you go through, they still gonna be dealing with you. Mm -hmm. They still gonna have 
to show that respect for you, right. you know, because right. your values are pure. You right, know? right. Yeah. Don't matter how good your project is or whatever. If, if you got a if you if you got a shitty attitude. Ain't nobody gonna want to work with you. Exactly. You are gonna exactly. get blackballed so quick. I mean, like, nah, don't. And don't, don't get me don't wrong, because we dude. get a lot of even if when people see us doing good, you know, like when they 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 see you down, they see you down, and after they be like, all right, all right they they with you, but as soon as you start getting up. It's like then you see they feel like a jealousy or you, you feel a little hate coming or a mercy or whatever they call it. But that is like that right now, I'm learning to like just push that to the mm -hmm. side. Mm -hmm. you know? Just push that to the side because at the end of the day, you're doing it for you and your family. Right. You know? So right. don't make nobody tell you like, nah, that's not what you... Nah, if your mind tell you that's where you got to go and that's the road and the path you got to take, you know, take that because... You the only person, like you say, you the only person that know what you really feel mm -hmm. inside, you mm -hmm. know. So, like you say, it might not the guy, person, or whoever it is, might not like your video, or they might not like what you're doing, you posting on Facebook or whatever. They might not be showing the support, but they're gonna show that support regardless when they see you doing extra good. Mm -hmm. They see you coming up, they just watching, they just mm -hmm. watching. Let them watch. Mm -hmm. As soon as you get to where you gotta be. And you don't even got to show them no hate after that. You just be like, ah, bro, you know, because at the end of the day, you got to show that you're a bigger person, you know? Right. And, and, and that hate didn't get you there in the first place. What got exactly. you there is not hating and ignoring the hate and staying positive and just realizing that that's what happens in life. But this is what's happening in my life, and I'm going to handle this situation. Exactly, man. Just like that. Exactly. Man. Stay true to yourself, as always, you know? That's important. That's important. Yeah, you know, man. don't worry about... What other people are doing out there on social media, what you see, people. Listen, a lot of these things are perceptions. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody can't. How, how many times have you seen, besides Tyrese, mm -hmm. <laughs> how many times have you seen people really getting emotional and breaking down on social media? Uh, no. Everybody <laughs> is always happy. Everybody is always happy. Like, no. you can't be that happy all the time. I'm, I'm a happy dude, but yeah. sometimes stuff just, you know. Yeah, hey. Sometimes and then you just don't even gotta show it. You just you know, right. you just don't pay no mind, or you just don't go on Facebook right. or whatever that day. <laughs> right. You know, <laughs> like social media. I'm skip social media it. for today. I'm in my feelings. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> or you might do a meme about it. I know. And sometimes, <laughs> sometimes when you get up, I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes you get up, you go on social media, and you just see that one thing, and it just changes up the whole day. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. Oh, I know. <laughs> you know, like when was um, it's like yes, it's like yesterday. Um, um, I did the vlog. I did the vlog. I was like, yo, man, I'ma stay up, finish do the Texas vlog. I did the Texas vlog. Soon as I go to, I went to sleep like what, nine o'clock or eight o'clock in the morning. So I stayed up doing all the doing everything, and I was like, you know what, I'm just dropping that, put it on YouTube, make sure everything is there. Um, as soon as I get up, I get a call. Guess who? I, the first text I see. Oh. <laughs> it's like, yo, come to the radio. I'm like, yo, you know, I, if one thing don't work, the next thing gonna work. Right. <laughs> because I did not expect it. I, because we already knew, I already knew about, oh, we might come see him for maybe do the doc for the documentary. But I did not know he was gonna hit me up and be like, yo, Jamaican, you pull up, you know? And he does that, things. And when I seen that, I was like, you know what? The, 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 the what do you call it? The stars are in line because. Uh, I was not thinking because some things you don't even think about it, but it just happens. Mm -hmm. you I didn't even know I was gonna be sitting mm -hmm. down in this chair today. I was just getting up to do some do some editing. I only uh, today I only planned on doing editing, you know, and look at where I ended up. And see, the see. blessings they flow. The blessings they keep coming, and you know, and you, you know? just gotta you know, be humble with it, you know. Except and actually, you know, I um, actually did a video. I just did a music video when we was in Boston. You remember that? I'm in it. I'm like, yeah, hey, you all in there, <laughs> you know? And Cameo. So we dropped the, <laughs> the video. I did the preview. I just dropped the preview. But the video is about to drop on um, April 7th. It's the same night as the fashion show. Very nice. The same night as fashion show. So, you know, like everybody will get to see and, you know. Yeah, show some support and everything, man. Either way, it's going to get there. Right. Yeah, that's how I see, that's how, that's how I see it. Regardless, way it's gonna everything's going to get there. You know, <laughs> with God, with time, we good, you know? Right, yeah, right. Man, that's how I see life, you know? So I know you got a, a nice little hip-hop background, too. Oh, yeah. We do. I, did, I did music back in the yeah, day, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did, like, a little... I did, you know, music. Um, I did a couple mixtapes and all that, too. Mm -hmm. And I also did a little producing. And that's how I actually got into um, to videography. Because 
we was doing so much and it's like yo let's get into music right we had a whole little crew and it was like let's get into music so i was like all right cool so i started doing it i made it I, I was working at the time i was like the only guy in this crew that was actually working so i was like all right cool we're gonna get all the equipments mm -hmm. so boom we got all the equipment boom we set up a little studio <laughs> then boom we set up two studios, so I had one in my room and had one at my homeboy's crib. Uh -huh. So it's like wherever I went, I went to at least be feel comfortable, you know. So right. I set it up, bum bum. We had the two studios running, so we did a little. We did the uh, music and everything. So now with music, you know what comes next? We need videos. <laughs> right. So now I'm like, oh man, we need a video camera. Right. We need some. <laughs> Right. <laughs> we right. need a video camera. We already got T. At that time, we already had the T-shirt thing already going on. Mm -hmm. But now we need, we need, we we have T-shirts. We got all this, but we need the videos now. You know. So we, I was like, I, I priced it on the camera. Boom! I bought the camera. It was like the top camera at that time. Boom! I got it. And um, actually, it was a T-free eye. So anybody need a camera, I use the T-free eye. You see how how it is? It's mad compact. Everything in there, and I just. Upgrade my lens. Right. <laughs> yeah, just let you know. I upgrade my lens a little. Just all you got to do, the body stays the same. You just got to upgrade your lens. Right. So now we got the camera, and we started doing little videos, you know, and everything. And then that started, you know, leading to other stuff, you know. Like everybody, you know, want us to do a little one-two show, right. one show out, and all that stuff. So it started happening, and you know. I took a trip back home. Took a trip, like, I took a six. I took a pause on that, and I took a trip to Dominica. That's where I'm from. But I'm... Stayed down there for like about six months, you know, got in touch with, you know, because I was off here for too long already. Mm -hmm. You <laughs> so got to go back to your roots yeah, sometimes. Yeah, I had to go back to the roots, you know, and like yeah. I got, you know, the whole vibe from back home and everything. So when I came back up here, I was like, all right, cool. So when I come back, it's no nonsense. Everything is just real. We just doing what we got to do. So as soon as I came back, everything, when I came back, everything was already, it was on one level when I left. But when I came back, it just went up to another mm -hmm. level because I'm seeing everybody real picking me up in BMWs at the airport. <laughs> I'm like, it was like, and it, you know, my homeboy is like, he's watching me on the side. He's watching me. He's driving and he's like, yo. Yo, shut up. Things are different now. Right. This <laughs> <laughs> right. is like, things are different things now. Different. You know, it's like, oh, I just got the BMW car. I just got the BMW bike. We got everything. I'm like, oh, man, it's lit. <laughs> it's yeah. too lit, you know? And then, yeah. boom. And now, then after I found myself in the underground studio, bam, bam. And then with that, the underground studio is what really pushed me to, um, to basically in that whole atmosphere of music because I was in it, but when I got into the studio, is what I, I met so much different rappers, so much different singers, so much different, you know, so much, so much different people basically, you know, and it, I seen the worst of the worst and the, some mm -hmm. of the best of the mm -hmm. best, you know, like, <laughs> like we'll be chilling and I'll turn around and boom, there's Uncle Murder. You know, I'm like, he watching me design and I'm like, yo, who are you? And he's like, I'm Uncle Murder, you know? And right. it's like all this, you know, I met a lot of people and like, and the people I was dealing with, they was actually doing a series they call um, Respect Life, you know. At that time, they had two series, hot series. They had Money and Violence and it had um, Respect Life. That's the two hottest series, video series on the internet that represent Brooklyn and basically New York. You mm -hmm. know, that's the two hottest. So I was, so I deal with a lot, basically the two people, the people from both of these network, from both of these um, series, I met a lot of these people, I deal with a lot of people, of the, I deal with a lot of them on a daily basis too, you know, so they alone, you know, um, expose me to certain things like liquor brands, all them different things, you know, like people, like it has a liquor brand that just hit me up and they're like, um, they want me to um, whatever, put it in their video, put mm -hmm. it in my videos and stuff. I was like, oh, what? Mm -hmm. It was like, oh, we going to give you some bottles. Of of you. I was like, of okay. Course you will. I, was, <laughs> I, was, you will. I wasn't expecting <laughs> that, but you know, I met so much different people and through these people, like everybody have different connections and they, they just kept, you know, they're like, yo, they like how I was rolling. So there's like, all right, cool. I like how you're rolling. Everything is moving. I like how, I like your style. Let me introduce you to that person. Let me introduce you. So people just kept introducing me to people, introducing people. Like how I met with you. Mm -hmm. Like people just kept me introducing mm -hmm. me to people. Like, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. And then from since for the past two years or a year and a half now, that's how it been. Mm -hmm. It's just been it just been going up. It's just been going up, man. And not only do you meet people, but then you stay connected with those selected exactly, people. Exactly. You can meet a million people. 
but you mm -hmm. may have five to ten that mm -hmm. you really you really need right there. Connected mm -hmm. with, and you like, we on the same path. I can deal with him. I can. I can. Yeah. The 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 vibe is good, you know. And a lot of these a lot of these business relationships when they start off, they turn in, they turn into to personal relationships, friend mm -hmm. relationships. Like mm -hmm. when I first met Carrie, it was it was all about business. Carrie came up and was on my show. Uh, him and my uh, uh, my brother in law, shout out to Clubmaster Still Intrigue Magazine. Oh, yeah. you know, Intrigue Magazine. Oh, yeah, yeah, I yeah. forgot to tell you. Yeah. Um, in talking about Intrigue Magazine, they just put me in um, Intrigue Magazine. Um, Very the nice. Last, the last issue that came out for December. So it came out on my birthday. That's so crazy. Very was, nice. On December 25th. So go to right. Intrigue, Mag and, Intrigue Magazine dot com mm -hmm. and see his article. Yeah, and we had this. Um, I, w I was in the magazine with, alongside with the same label, FGM, and we came up with this brand called Only the Best, mm -hmm. you know? And uh, on Saturday for the fashion show, you want to see like one, two, or the clothing line, Only the Best. Never, Very nice. Never settle for less. And we always try to give you that inspirational words, you know, like, you know, never when you hear somebody say, never settle for less, you know, you only thinking about the best. You only want the best. Right. So, so that's two lines right there. Only the best and never settle for less. Right. <laughs> yes. You know, you keep you try you try to put your best foot forward. It don't get no simpler than that though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You keep it simple. Keep it it doesn't have to be all complex yeah. all the time. The simplest solutions are the best solutions a lot of the times. Most of the time, pretty, because unless it's like an Algebraic, <laughs> <Complicated>. physics, <laughs> quantum physics, <laughs> too much. Space time, <laughs> traveling, <laughs> black hole, warp type question. <laughs> it's probably a simple, suit, simple, simple yeah, solution. Yeah, just simple, it. simple <laughs> sayings, you know, simple stuff, and that's what pe that's the eye catcher sometimes, you know, right. the simple thing, but like boom, like a girl should just have a, a shirt saying "I'm hot." Right. That alone, every you see a girl wearing that, the next girl see that one. Oh, I want that one. Right. I want that T-shirt too because right. that one feels like she's hot. Right. The next one sees that one. Boom. Ne next time you look, you got five girls wearing the same shirt, and that's how it just expands right there. Right. You know? Right. Yeah. Simple like that. We just bam. Like a web. <laughs> man, man. Yeah, man. I just shot a spidey web at you. <laughs> a spidey web of positive oh. vibes and communication. I, In your eye. Your eye. <laughs> I like this show, man. I like this show. I, man. I just came in here. I saw him doing the other show, and I'm like, yo, this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? This, this, and and like, like I tell every guest, man, this my show is not about me. Mm. It is set up for my guests and their platform to come down and discuss whatever the heck they want to discuss, you know, whatever they want. And I know it's going to be something positive and something great because that's why I called them down in the first place. So anybody that comes through those doors right there, it's, it, it, as the millennials would say, the interview is gonna be litty. It's gonna be, it's, 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 it's gonna be nice because we're gonna go in depth. We're gonna talk about, you know, background. We're gonna talk about, you know, career moves. You know, we're gonna, we're gonna give you positive information yeah. to keep moving. Just, just everything, man. This is what this show is about, to have people like you that's doing your thing, coming down here, mm -hmm. man, and just, you know, relaying it to people so people can get in contact with you or even be become inspired by you to start doing that thing. Because that's every, what I want to do, yeah. too, you know, like um, motivate, like anybody that wants to learn certain things, like to me, all you got to do is ask. Because to me, when I was at the studio, it had certain artists that would come and they would be like, yo, Jamaica, I like how you're doing what you do. You know, I like how you're doing that. Let me just sit down there and watch what you do. And I used to be like, yo, bro, take all the time you need. Just sit there, watch what I'm doing, because soon I'm going to need your help. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. And I was starting to, like, doing that when I was getting the orders. Like, I would get an order for, like, 2000 I would make sure they would get $100 a day. Mm -hmm. You know me Just for helping me. Because the T-shirts, it looks simple. But it takes a, you know, it's, it's, it's a little it's a intricate, a little, yeah. you know, it, it's a process, yeah. it, you know, and I've been doing it for a while. So if I'm telling you it's a little process, it's, some people just do one layer. To me, I would do, this is like a two layer, two layer design. But some people would just do one layer and be like, yo, it's cool. Mm -hmm. But me, I like to see like multiple layers yeah. on one thing. Be like, ooh, we got a suede over here. Ooh, we got a sparkly over there. Ooh, we got some like um, leather, you know? Like, and that's why you're going to stand out and do better because you don't settle. Exactly. I don't want you don't for settle. less. You want, you want the best, you know? And when you get one of them t-shirts, 
you feel good wearing it. You know what I'm right. saying? It's like, right. oh man, I'm right. I'm the only one that got right. this shirt. Right. You know? Right, right. Yeah. Some customized yeah. stuff. Yeah, you know, like Jay-Z got this. But I got mm -hmm. this. He don't got that. <laughs> you gotta come to buy it from me. You know what I, I'm I saying? Got, I got a couple customized uh, jackets that I got made in my closet. And then when I be Even having the, one, I be like, yeah, the jackets nobody too. else in the world has got this them. but me. Exactly. <laughs> like nobody got this but me. That is just a different it, feeling. Because it you make it makes you feel special. You know. Right. And, that's what it, if you want if you wear something at least make you feel special you know you want something when you wear it you know like people they catch your eyes like and they're gonna ask that question people see you and they'll be like where did you get that hoodie from where did you get that jacket from where did you get that shirt from whatever it is that hat whatever it is where did you get that from mm -hmm. and that's where boom business and whatever it goes on from there, mm -hmm. you know? And, yeah. Word of mouth is the biggest promoter. I know, right? Word of mouth Social is the media too, promoter. but word right. of mouth is even right. di more direct, right. you know? Because real quick, because I want you to give your information out, but you, you go to a barbershop mm -hmm. and, and get Zeke, you're not going to say that specific barber Zeke to you. You're going to be like, man, they Zeke me over there at that shop. I got, I you're going to blame the whole do, shop. I do barbering too, you know? I do oh, barbering yeah? too. Like me, I, I, used man, to have this, I used to have this cut. This haircut. So I used to be in the, in the city, Manhattan, when I was working. I went to um, not working, but I went to school, um, school for barbering and stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. So while I was there, I was like actually at the top of my class because I was already cutting my hair before I went to over there. I just never liked cutting hair, but I like I was I learned how to cut my own hair, how to do a fade and all of that. Right. So now they had this um, they had this gentleman one time, and he was like, yo um. When you do my hair for me, I was like, all right, cool, let me do it for you. So he's like, I did it for him. When he got it, he was like, yo, that is the best haircut he <laughs> ever got it. So he's like, what is the name of this haircut? I was like, yo, this is the Gala Rush. <laughs> 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 so you, let me tell you this. Yeah. After that, everybody started calling me like yo i need the gala rush i need the gala rush i need the gala rush. because he went out and telling me he's that's, one of his friends and then crazy. they came the next day and they was like yo um my friend i'm um, saying to ask for the gala rush right. i'm like what? <laughs> <laughs> but then i remember i told it to <laughs> give, give you your information give me your information oh. where they can where they can get in contact with you um at. instagram is um jamaki j-a-h-m-a-k-e-y on um youtube is the same thing j-a-h-m-a-k-e-y jamaki and if you want to find me on um facebook it's um jm productions and if you want to find my T-shirt page where I do the designs and stuff, it's Jam Productions 10K. You know, put that little dot be between the J and M. No, J M dot Productions. <laughs> you know, and 10K. And you can see some of the designs that I do, and also Jam Productions. Um, the the, the page you're gonna see like some of the pictures and the videos and all them stuff. You know, I try to keep it a little separate. <laughs> Jamaican, the yeah. actors cut. We here, we keeping it live. You here in the first. And some good grooming. <laughs> we see you soon. All right, peace. Peace. Hell yeah. This is good. That was a good one too, man. Right, that was real fun right there. Bro. This is fun. Bro.